Welcome back to Peace Fight Back. Today's video is an appointment day and a very bold move in me moving forwards in my recovery, which you could probably guess from the picture. I actually start this appointment day video from the day before my appointment though, which I'll explain in the video. I'm just going to let the sun stream through on this one. Um, I apologise for the fact I'm halfway through making my bed. Um, also that there's no Joe featuring in this one and the fact I look atrocious. Um, it's currently the day before my appointments um, and I know I'm a bit behind on posting my YouTubes and stuff but as of today I've not filmed for a week um, and I wanted to talk through the reasons. Well they're not reasons I've not filmed, I've just not filmed because I've been going through stuff in my brain and I've been processing that stuff rather than anything else. Um, I kind of went through a thing last week, at the start of last week, when I had a bit of a pang of panic, um, frustration, anger, all of the things that you don't want to feel um, about recovery um, and I just so desperately want to be in a better place and so I did, I didn't just think the things, I made changes, um, I didn't tell anyone other than my mum and the only reason I told my mum was because I needed someone to keep me accountable to keeping to the changes I made all week, um, but I knew I needed to do it so I did it. Um, and it's been difficult and I have doubted myself every snack time and meal time and I have had every urge to not do what I did but I kept on going and I'm hoping that tomorrow my appointment I can come out of the chair because I've worked hard, I've worked hard to enable that. Um, so that's why I've been a bit quieter. I also wanted to do this video to pop in some of the pictures of some of the snacks I've had because they're bars that I've wanted to try for ages but I've been too scared of them because of the nutrition. Um, so I'm going to pop it, them in now and do a little review on them because I love doing my little reviews. Here comes the quickest reviews you've ever seen. This bar was really nice. This is a solid 9 out of 10. Texture and flavour was so good. I also tried this crunch bar. It was way too sharp. Too much lemon, too much raspberry. I really didn't like it. I'd say like 2 out of 10. However, this M&M crispy bar was so nice. You got like two bits and it was super colourful as well. Um, this was really tasty, like 7 out of 10. And this chief strawberries bar it was a nice bar but i don't really like strawberries and chocolate combo so i'd rate it probably like a five out of ten um i've had this bar for my afternoon snack before i've reviewed it before it's just amazing 10 out of 10 every time just chocolate then i had these think bars to try i'd never even heard of these before um i tried it and i was very underwhelmed this was like a one out of ten if that I tried this salty and sweet bar for one of my afternoon snacks. I loved the bar, but it had nuts in it and I can't stand nuts. So I picked them all out and really enjoyed the bar without the nuts, but because of the nuts, I'd give it like a five out of 10. Um, another Think bar, this one was worse than the white chocolate one. This was a zero out of 10, flavor and texture, just not good. This was one of my afternoon snacks. Um, it was really nice, but the dark chocolate was a bit too much for me. So probably like a five out of 10. Um, then I tried this fudge brownie crunchy bar. This one was really nice, really nice flavour actually. Probably like 6 or 7 out of 10. Then these teaser bites, these were so good. This is one of my afternoon snacks. This was a solid 10 out of 10. It came with these two little bites and it was so like creamy and chocolatey. I cannot recommend these enough. This was just one of the best ones I think they've done. I tried this Battle Bites bar. I find Battle Bites quite overrated, to be honest. I didn't really enjoy these. I'd say like a four out of 10. This bar, however, was absolutely incredible. Um, this was like nine out of 10. Just the flavor was amazing. The one bars are super simple in texture, but the flavors are always like spot on. 
I also tried the new Milky Way bar that's just come out. It came in two pieces, which was nice. I prefer this to a Milky Way because it was just a bit chewier. I had one half room temp and one half heated up. And to be honest, it was perfectly good in both. I'd say like a 7 out of 10. Then I tried the new Mountains Joe's bar. This was absolutely amazing. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. Texture and flavour, just amazing. This was a 10 out of 10 and usually I'm a chocolate person. But no, highly recommend this one. Then I tried this triple decker flat track type bar. Um, I thought it didn't have much flavour. It was okay, I'd say like 5 out of 10. And that is the end of the reviews, but I do do my daily reviews on my Instagram if you like the reviews as much as I like doing the reviews. All of those bars I had put in a box because they scared me too much and I thought I'm never going to have these bars. And I have committed myself to finishing that box and it was really, really scary, but I did it. It was a bold decision I made and it was one that felt very out of control and chaotic and terrifying. But at the end of the week, reflecting back on it, I'm really glad I made it. And more than that, I keep telling myself, or sorry, my eating disorder keeps saying to me, what if you regret it? What if you feel guilty? What if all these bad things happen if you eat that thing? And something I found out this week is the what if can work in the opposite direction as well. What if I feel better? What if I feel more in control? What if I feel calmer? What if I feel proud of myself? And there was a day in the week, it was Tuesday, and it was 3 a.m. I wasn't sleeping and, and I knew I needed food. And I got food. I went and got a snack. And I haven't told anyone that. Not even my mum. And that was huge for me. That was completely off plan. That was with no one saying you need to do this. That was no one with me saying it's okay. That was me saying to myself, I don't need to feel like this anymore. And I knew I wasn't sleeping for a reason. And it was important I did that. So yeah, I'm filming this the day before my appointments. Um, the rest of the video will be my appointment day. So I'm just gonna cross my fingers that it goes okay. A little positive quote in here as a spacer between the two days. Good morning. If you can hear sniffing and walking around, that's the dog. <laughs> He's needing lots of attention today. Um, it is appointment day today. Um, I feel like I feel positive about it today. I've really, really worked hard the last few weeks, and I'm really, really hoping for some good news. Um, so it will be fingers crossed anyway um but yeah sitting down to breakfast i've got my teaspoon that says do the next right thing and that's been like my motto for the last few weeks every time i've started finding things difficult i'm like okay what's the next right thing to do and doing that so yeah just keeping going with it all i've also got my trusty bee brave bowl my cereal today taking a deep breath and yeah just do the next right thing bit of time in the morning so we did my nails um, and then this was my little cozy outfit of the day then went to my appointment had my snack in the car before um, had an apple and then I tried this one bar um, I had this about five years ago and I remember loving it 
and but it's really hard to get in the UK. Um, anyway, someone really kindly sent me one and it was as good as I remembered. It was really tasty. The flavour was perfect. I absolutely love maple syrup and yeah, it was just perfect. Um, the texture of these bars is quite plain, but that's no bad thing. Then had my appointment and had my hummus falafel wrap on the way home in the car because um, we were a little bit late for my appointment. Um, and then when I got home, had my Nick's Crunchy Caramel Bar as my part two of lunch and then had my corner yogurt afterwards. I had my appointment, um, not coming out the chair this week, but I feel very focused that it's going to happen next week. Um, I just need to make a plan of things to change on my meal plan, which is just hard. Um, I know what I want, I know what I need to do, I just, that anorexia is still so strong in my head when I think about food um, and that panic um, it's just hard it's just hard I know it's the right thing to do Afternoon snack, I'm having the blueberry muffin bar. I've not had this one for a few weeks and it's a good one. So fancied something fruity and jammy today. So we're having a fruity and jammy bar. me and my mum a food shop to stock up on supplies for my meal plan again. Much later in the day, um, I have spent most of the day thinking about how I can change my meal plan, what I can work on, what feels manageable, and I came to the conclusion that none of it feels manageable, so I'm going to do all of it. Um, I need to work on my dinners. Dinners have always been a difficult one for me and I need to work on them. So, I spent about four hours procrastinating having the conversation with my mum and then she was like, Fee, we need to make the plan for this week and I was like, I know what I need to do, I am just terrified. Um, so we're having a pasta week. We are going to have pasta every night this week because, as Minna said, if I can crack pasta, which is the food I grew up on, I ate pasta every single day, ASD thing, not ED thing. Um, if I can have pasta every day, I will get myself into such a better place. It terrifies me but that's not a reason to not do it. And more importantly, I was picking raspberries this afternoon and I was thinking it all over. And I had the thought, I wish I did this a month ago because then it wouldn't be this scary. And then I was like, so what am I doing to myself by putting it off for another week? Because this time next week, I will say, I wish I did it a week ago because it's scary. It's gonna scare me. It's gonna scare me at every point. I have got to stop letting the fear control me. And I hope by the end of this week, I can say I did pasta every day and I hope I'm proud of myself for it. Right now I'm terrified. I've increased my snacks. I've changed the dinners around. I'm gonna make a few more changes, which I haven't consolidated in my brain yet. So I'm not gonna share them yet. It scares me but that's okay. 
okay to be afraid. It means you're about to do something really, really brave. Then we took on my little walk and this is me attempting to get a nice photo with him. But as we probably learned, it's quite difficult. He moves quite a lot, um, but we tried. I don't know if you can hear a lot of background noise drilling downstairs. Um, it is currently half an hour till dinner and we're having pasta tonight because I told myself I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to have pasta again. Um, when I edit this video I might put in a little thing about pictures of me and pasta over the years. Like it's very much an ASD thing that I struggle with variety of food. Um, I grew up on pasta, pasta at breakfast sometimes, always at lunch and always at dinner. And honestly, it terrifies me. I've not had pasta since March, I think now, and I had it like once and it was such a terrifying and horrible experience that I was like, I'm not doing that again. Um, and I know that people watch these videos and they um, thank me for explaining, I guess, um, what I can imagine is quite difficult to un to understand if you don't have an eating disorder. Um, there are just certain foods that I find extremely difficult and pasta's one of them. Um, and the change this week to having pasta for dinner is <laughs> the boldest thing I've done for a while. Bolder than cheesecake, bolder than ice cream. Um, there's certain things I have around certain foods that emotionally just hold a lot for me. And um, yeah, I could talk about pasta for a long time. I don't want to bore anyone. Um, it's a it's a huge thing for me and we've written the meal plan and I'm having it I think three or four times the rest of the week there's two days I won't have it because I'm going out for one of them and I think we're going out another night as well I just wanted to interject this video with a message from future fee um, there are exciting things to come way so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna have it and I'm gonna keep facing it this week and if it means I have to do it all next week as well I'll do it all next week as well I'm gonna do it until it's not scary anymore because it's not a life to live scared of food and as my nurse said if I can crack pasta I am well on my way to getting back to uni in September um, he said in my appointment that if I, if I can make enough changes by next week, he knows I'll be going back to uni. So, oh my gosh, I've spent the whole day talking myself into this and talking myself out of it and going round and round in circles. I'm going to go and have the pasta for dinner. I'm going to go and have the pasta. And it's not going to be easy. And it's not going to be easy the other days I've got it planned. But that does not mean I'm not going to do it. I get really nervous about being honest about this. Because I'm like, what if people think this is ridiculous? <laughs> and I know that if you have an eating disorder, you'll understand. And I feel like I need to explain myself or hide it. It's scary for me. It's absolutely terrifying. But now's the time to do things that scare me. So let's have the pasta. I cannot explain how anxious I was about this, but I set up my place, had my puzzles ready, had my reminders ready, and then we had the pasta. Um, Mum cooked and served it all. Um, and I just kept telling myself, right, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I did. I kept on going. And I can't tell you how nice it was to have pasta again. 
because pasta is like my food and I absolutely love it and I think shells is one of the best past like pasta shapes as well um but yeah kept going finished my plate had my yogurt straight afterwards and actually felt proud of myself can we ignore how red I am that is pure anxiety my face does this really nice thing when I go bright red and I'm anxious which just makes me even less anxious you can imagine that was sarcasm um I made it through dinner I had it I sat down mum served it and I just ate it um I had a real panic before and I had to take my evening meds a bit early to try and calm things down but I did it I did it and I'm gonna do it again on the next day of having pasta I'm gonna do it again and this is the kind of strategy that works for me I kind of I switch on to things so we're having a pasta week this week and that helps me manage it each day day was a huge thing it was huge and I knew I just needed to do it and I did it and right now I don't feel great about it I'm gonna go have a shower and wash my hair and do my paint by numbers and breathe I remind myself that despite it feeling this horrible, it was the right thing to do. And I'm going to do it again and again and again until it's not a thing anymore. And until my face doesn't go this red just because of pasta. <laughs> I'm going to get the feedback that adores pasta and just eats it every day without even thinking about it. I am. I did quite a lot of my paint by numbers. I'm really enjoying this one because I love the really colourful ones and I act, I just love butterflies. Um, then I had my night snack and I wanted to finish this video on this quote. I wanted to say, obviously I do the voiceovers for these videos a bit after I film them. There are some very exciting videos coming out of some really big recovery moments and I'm excited to share them. And always, of course, thank you for the continued messages and comments of support because they mean a lot to me.